I'm Sam from Mower Magic and I'm here today to show you what you can expect when you receive your Sherpa STJH1711 Professional Gas Weed Burner. Once you've taken out the outer packaging, you should have three boxes and your instruction manual. This big brown box has the trolley kit in, this small white box has the regulator and this long white box has the lance and the hose. So let's start with this first. So here is the lance and the hose. So on the lance, you've got all the controls you need. This dial controls the flow of gas. Turn that counterclockwise to release and increase the flow of gas. You've got your igniter here. You press that red button to ignite the gas once it's flowing, and that causes a spark at the end of the, at the, end of the lance to spark and ignite the flame. And then your trigger, once you've got a pilot light, pull that trigger to get a nice roaring flame that you can work with and burn back some weeds. The hose has two brass fittings. One goes on the lance and one goes on the regulator. These are left hand thread. So just when you're attaching that to both ends, just make sure you're turning that counterclockwise to attach that on. Now I'm doing this by hand, but I recommend using a spanner when you're doing this for real so that you get a proper seal on that brass fitting. So I mentioned the regulator earlier. The regulator supplied with this machine is a POL 105 regulator. So that should fit on most propane and LPG canisters. If you're using butane, just make sure you've got an appropriate regulator. If you are using a different regulator, we recommend that you use something that has an output of 2.5 bar for best performance. So now we've got the contents of the trolley kit. So you should have two wheels, an axle with a fixing kit attached to it, and then the body of the trolley itself. Now I've taken one of the chains off for transport, when you receive yours, both chains will be wrapped around their arms like they are on this one. All I've done here is unfasten the wing nut and the washer that was securing it on this side and unwrapped it. You can adjust this chain to be suitable for whatever size your gas canister is. If you want it to be shorter, just select the link you want to use and tighten it there. We'll start by putting the axle onto the trolley. So I've taken off the fixing pack from the axle. Inside, you should have the following. Two large washers and two end caps. Those are for the wheels, so we'll come back to those later. Two screws, two flat washers, two spring washers, and two nuts. So we're gonna use those now to attach this axle to the trolley. So I'm mounting the axle onto the back of the trolley. You want to orient the axle so you've got this metal bit pointing upwards. The purpose of this is to hold the lance in place when you put it in here for transport position. The end of the lance goes on top of here to keep it steady. So we just want to line that up with the bolt holes there. Pop these screws through. We're going to put the flat washers on first. Then the spring washers. And then finally the nuts. I'm just doing these up to finger tightness, but again, like with the hose, I recommend doing these up with tools when you're actually putting yours together. So let's put the wheels on next. So the wheels are just secured by those push on fixings we looked at earlier. Each wheel goes on the same way. Put your washer on first, slide the wheel onto the axle, and then just push on the push on fixing. Now don't be afraid to give this a little bit of force, but you should feel it, just click into place like that, and then it's nice and secure. So just do the same thing on the other side, and that's that. Just as a quick note, I recommend mounting the wheels valve side out, so that way if you ever do get a flat, it's easy to reinflate. So once that's all together, you should have something like this. Now this is a slightly older model that we use around our premises, the modern STJH1711 has two securing arms, not just one. So that's what you can expect from your machine. So to get started, just take the lance out of the storage position, unhook it from there, and you'll see, here's that bit of metal I mentioned earlier. So as you can see, that just goes up the end of the lance to help steady it in position while you move that around. So just open up the flow of gas. We'll just up it slightly on the dial. So you can hear some gas coming out and then we'll just press the igniter 
to get ourselves a pilot light, and when we're ready to go, pull the trigger to get a roaring flame. 